No nonsense gin drinking. All gin, no nonsense. Hello gin lovers, welcome back. I'm Bobby Freeman and today my friends, I can barely believe I'm saying this, but we have a new Tanqueray on the show for you. It's been a long, long time. I'm, oh God, at least like a, a year and a half, something like that. I reckon the last Tanqueray we had on the show was way back near the beginning of the channel in the old studio. So it brings me great Great and enormous and endless pleasure to introduce you today to their latest variant, which is Tanqueray Black Current Royale. Now, I have to say, I was slightly, slightly disappointed when it turned up, because if I show you the picture of it on Amazon, where I bought it from, um, you can see it's quite sort of a real vivid purple. I thought that looks very pretty, and I'm sure it's going to be very delicious. However, when it's turned up, it's slightly more kind of almost blackish. I don't know if it helps if, if I just hold a bit of paper like that. Not really, does it? But anyway, it doesn't really matter, but I was hoping it might be a little bit more purple. But obviously, they have gone for a, what I would call a, um, a fruity gin, a very fruity sort of novelty gin. So um, they have done fruity ones before. As we know, they've done the uh, uh, the orange one, the Sevilla, and uh, well, that's it to be honest. So this is their second foray into the fruity gin area. So my friends, I am very, very much looking forward to getting started into it for you today. Now, weirdly, rather strangely and suspiciously, I went on the website to try and find out a bit about it and so I can read uh, sort of the, uh, some of the details to you. And there was nothing on there. The cupboard was literally bare. There's nothing about this little fella on the website, which is rather strange and rather suspicious and makes me think maybe it's a limited edition. So I had to go on a different website for you. I went on to uh, the Scottish Gin Society.com and they've got a wee bit about it on here. And because it's the Scottish Gin Society, I thought, why not do me old Scottish accent? The new Black Currant Royale Gin from Tanqueray. One of our most popular Scottish gin brands, Tanqueray, has expanded its range with a new gin that looks perfect for Valentine's Day. Black Currant Royale. I don't know why that is any t sort of way synonymous with Valentine's Day, but who knows? Maybe we'll find out. Hello, darling. Happy Valentine's Day. Now then, I've got good news for you this year. Instead of a bunch of red roses, I've got you a big bag of black currants. Hello? The new flavoured gin is made using the original botanicals of Tanqueray London Dry Gin, but blended with black currants and vanilla, and featuring exotic floral notes of black orchid. I don't know why I said it like that, I don't even know what a black orchid is. And that's all they say about it, to be honest. So my friends, there is nothing left to do but crack the fellow open and get stuck. Duck in. So then we have no cork, as always with the Tanqueray, it's just a twisty, twisty top. But never mind, we don't mind that too much. But if we had a cork test every week, it'd probably get a bit boring, wouldn't it? Some might say it's got boring already, but you know what? I like it. So in the old whoops, in the old glass it goes. And my word, look at that. That's looking a bit more purpley now. No, I like that. I'm happier with that. Look at that. Proper purple gin. Proper black. What am I talking about? Let's give it a sniff, shall we? And to be honest, this is one of those, oh, blimey. This is one of those gins where you don't even need to put the nose in the glass. It is literally just fugging my studio up. And I'm not even sure fugging is a word, but as you know, I shall, I doesn't necessarily stop me from using a word, even if it's not, well, a word. But of course, I will send the nose in there bravely anyway. So here we go. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. They certainly have not scrimped on the black currants in there because good Lord above, that is a thick, condensed, oh, not even, what's thicker than a fog? A smog, a smog, a black current smog, a, a, a blog, I, ironically. Which is actually quite nice, because I, I have to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of black current, but I did have, we did have a black current gin before. I think it was a Whitley Near one, and I actually really liked it. And my uh, neighbor, Ryan, who sometimes watches this show, made his own blackberry vodka once, and it was absolutely delicious. At blackberry, this is black, Black, oh, black currants, that's different. So I don't know, so therefore my uh, whole uh, point means nothing. But I imagine they're similar sort of things. But anyway, I, 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 you know, I gabble a lot on this show, but I, the gabbling seems to have gone up a notch today. So let's crack on and get the fellow in the mouth. <laughs> In the mouth, shall we? So then, we're definitely going to try it neat. Some people complain that I don't try it neat first, but I always think you get the most out of a gym when you add the tonic in there to release the flavours. So I'm going to carry on with my current method. Anyway, Ladies and gentlemen, gin lovers from around the world, I say, what have we got here? Black Current Royale, Tanqueray Gin. The first Tanqueray to grace this humble little channel for many, many months, I say. Cheers. 
<laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> well, okay then. This, I would say, is one of those gins that delivers exactly in the taste what it promised with the smell, because it is. There's no real surprises here, to be honest. Once you've smelt it, you've kind of tasted it. And it is, basically, as you'd imagine, it's just massively black curry. Huge, huge, great, big, heavy. <laughs> you can tell how heavy they are because I accentuated the <laughs> in that when I said heavy. <laughs> heavy, wallowing, lumbering flavors. It's kind of a big blob of black currant just sort of lollops down in your mouth. And that's another excellent word, a lollop. Lollops down in the mouth and sort of like, Oh, pours over the edge of your tongue and sort of sits down comfortably. But it, that, that might sound like an unpleasant image, but it's not. It's actually quite a nice lollop. And a lot of gins, when they sort of have flavours like this, they can be very overpowering. And to be honest, it is quite overpowering. It's, it's massive, massive, massive. I wouldn't say there's too much balancing going on in there, but there is a little bit. There is a little bit, and I'll explain why. Because as well as that big sort of heavy, the, the, the black current I'd say of the flavours is kind of, it's got to be 70, 80 percent, but that extra 20 percent is still there. You've still got that remnants. You can tell it's a Tanqueray. Just about, just about, not much, but there's, there is a tiny essence of Tanqueray still left in there, definitely. But as they said in the description, there is a kind of vanilla essence in there, which is not something I would have thought, if I was making this gin, I never would have thought to put that in there, but maybe they tried it first with all the black currant and thought, you know what, this black currant's a bit heavy for this. Let's find something that kind of offsets that nicely, but sort of complements it and kind of just smooths out the finish to it. And it does, it gives it a kind of a, Vanilla's always a nice sort of warming, creamy essence to put in gins, I think. What was something else where they used vanilla really well? Ah, ah, yes, I remember another gin that we had a long, long time ago. This one, which is King of Soho Variorum Gin. A very, very rare gin, that one. But that's strawberries and vanilla, right? But it actually came out as a kind of strawberry and cream flavour. And it was absolutely amazing. It doesn't get the credit it deserves. If you ever see it, definitely try it. And the Tanqueray, whether or not they took a cue from old King of Soho over there, I do not know. But Tanqueray have definitely employed that here. And to be honest, when you're getting a gin from Tanqueray, it's, it's, you're kind of expecting it to be good. They are kind of one of the world leaders in uh, gin. Wherever you see gin, you're guaranteed to see Tanqueray. So I'm sort of... Pleasantly, not pleasantly surprised, I am pleasantly sort of, um, my expectations have been pleasantly fulfilled by what they have done here. And that, I would, I could definitely drink that any day of the week, my friends. And today I have actually remembered to try it and eat, so let's give it a go. Now let's have a look at the ABV, because this is going to be interesting, because usually, aha, so usually with these uh, fruity gins, the ABV, the alcohol content, comes down quite a lot with when they add lots of sugar in, and it becomes, it gets down to that cusp, which is 37.5% ABV, uh, at which point, if it drops below it, it's technically a gin liqueur. A lot of the beefy to fruity ones uh, are certainly at that point. How However, my friends, my good, good esteemed colleague, well not colleagues, the people who don't know me at all at Tanqueray have kept it at a very respectable 41.3%, so it's still a decent kicky gin as well. So let's give it a go neat, see how it, uh, how it goes. Ooh, hello there. Do you know what? Do you know what? My regular viewers and subscribers know all too well. I don't really enjoy neat gin, not very often, but that, I reckon I could have that neat, over a bit of ice. It's not great at the temperature it is at the moment. Well, it's all right, but I think over, if you're gonna have neat gin, I think it has to be on ice, personally speaking. And I always say, as I said earlier, I think it's best to have gin with the tonic because it does release the flavors. But you know what? That's the first one in ages. I've really kind of getting the same uh, sort of essence and sort of flavor sort of feedback as with the tonic. So I tell you what, neat gin drinkers, if you see this one, this could be one for you. Even even the non-neat gin drinkers, in fact, like myself, if you guys see this one, this could be the one for you also. However, my friends, however, you're thinking to yourselves, look, that gin sounds quite nice, and being Tanqueray, you know, wherever you are in the world, there's a high chance this might, might be winging its way to your shores very soon. But you might be thinking to yourselves, it sounds all very nice and exotic, but am I going to get, well, shafted, to use a, uh, an unpleasant phrase. Shafted when it comes to the price. 
Well, my friends, gin lovers and people from around the world, I have good news for you because, well, over here, assuming they keep the sort of price similar, uh, you are in for uh, good news because uh, this little Tanqueray will cost you, over here in the UK, it's going to cost you 24 English pounds, uh, which equates to 33 dollars or 27 euros. That may vary when it gets to other countries because, as I know, especially with the old Tanqueray 10 up there, it's absolutely ridiculous when it gets to other countries. But assuming it stays around that price, that, my friends, is a very, very cheap gin and definitely, definitely worth a try. So, guys, to sum up, ugh, you know, like I said before, Tanqueray, you know, their bar it has to be set very, very high. They've set the bar. They're kind of a sort of a leading sort of gold standard in the world of gin. So I'm so glad because they've been resting on their laurels for a little bit, sitting back in the background, just raking everyone's money in while everyone buys their gin. But I'm glad that they've sort of taken a step out of their comfort zone and made something different sort of uh, to go out because as we know, there's a lot of gins out there. So I'm glad they've stepped into the realms uh, of the fruity gins and I'm glad they've made it a really good one rather than just some old rubbish like Gordon's you know sort of uh, roll out just sort of whack a, you know, no feeling or flavor gone into it they've actually made something really intelligent and I think Tanqueray is widely regarded by a lot of people as you know the king of the gin so my friends I can say to you today with some degree of certainty that Tanqueray has retained its crown and in the words of Rafiki from the jungle not the jungle but the Lion King the king has returned so guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have, don't forget to press the old like button on the video, subscribe to my show and press the old bell icon so you get notified when my new videos come out. And if you want to support the show, head over to the old Patreon page or click the join button below that there video. But until next time, guys, you know the drill. Take care, stay safe. Thank you to all my patrons and members and keep drinking the gin.